Hi everybody, we've just come to the hyena den and it looks like the cubs are out but so something's not right something, she's, she's salivating, she's she looks like she's extremely hot, there's a lot of steam coming off of her I think I'm wondering if something is that, that the cub next to her it doesn't look like it's moving. I don't know if something's happened. Oh, is it a bit of meat? Oh, okay, soft meat. Sure, because I could not work it out. Okay, I just saw the head of the other cub there. Sure. So it, p potentially she's actually gone hunting herself. That's why she's overheating. Yes. Yeah, okay, so I think I, I definitely did see the head of the other cub. Sure, I was really worried then. So that's obviously why she is salivating a lot, because I was thinking she's, there was a lot of steam coming off of her. So she's obviously just caught herself something to eat, because that, as Senzo says, that looks like soft meat. But I've definitely seen the second head of the other cub, so <laughs> panic over everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Nancy also saying she can't handle another hyena trauma. Sure, this lady's hot. But I wonder what it is that she's got there. It's very dark. Hi, Gwen. Uh, sorry, who, who, who was asking about Gwen? I thought it was Gwen asking about Gwen, but it's not. <laughs> Fern. Hi, Fern. Fern asking about Gwen and uh, what's wrong with her and I think she's o she's just overexerted herself I think she must have caught something and that's why she's so hot and you can see she's actually got saliva down her front legs and that helps to cool them off quite rapidly because the uh, the moisture actually helps to carry away quite a lot of the heat and as I say she was literally steaming I think we've literally just just caught her. Maybe moments earlier, if we'd have been a bit earlier, we might have actually seen her catch what it is that she's got. But I can't work out what it is that she's actually got. She's just trying to cool down. I'm wondering if that's what was heard. Possibly a bit of wildebeest, maybe? It's dark enough to be wildebeest. There was a lot of hyena tracks out and about, so that could be why. Now, the cubs shouldn't be eating meat at this stage. They'll still be drinking milk, but as you can see, there's nothing stopping them trying it, at least. <laughs> but their jaws are not going to be strong enough. Some people asking if that could be a mongoose. It's a bit big to be the mongoose, the dwarf mongoose. <laughs> you can see they're already getting quite bold, those two. Oh, just so, so relieved, because I say that did look like the body of one of the cubs. You can see <laughs> exactly the same. <laughs> same colour, but the hair is a little bit longer on it now that I'm seeing it. I say, just with her looking like she'd been overexerting herself, I just thought, ooh. Yeah, I think my money's on... Oh, it could even be a bit of the skin of the buffalo, maybe. Mm. Yeah, I, oh, it could be. I'm not so sure why she'd be salivating so much unless she's been chased off, of course, and she had to run with it. <laughs> I 
Let's say if we read what's known about hyenas, they're not supposed to bring food back to the den, but there you go. Gwen has not read the books. Yeah, even at this age, Joe, look how strong they are. As I say, they're not going to be able to tear any of the skin apart. Well, I doubt it. And now that I've said it, they probably will. <laughs> but, but they're not going to be strong enough for that. Well, but certainly uh, giving it a good go. As I say, just getting bolder every second that we're here. So we think possibly they're about three, three to four weeks old at this stage. All right, Ara Lara Mora, wondering if she brought it back for the cubs to teeth. Possibly. No, oh, that's somebody else. Who's that coming over? Is that Antima? Oh, no, that's... Yeah, it is Antima. <laughs> See, getting quite excited, the fact that there's something brought back to the den. But obviously, Gwen being very protective over her prize. And this is what definitely differentiates hyenas from other animals that do uh, den together or cooperate. Hyenas just will not share anything with other clan members, including milk, including food. Checker. <laughs> that was really interesting. She actually she she held back on that blow. I don't know if you picked up on that. It looked like she went to close her jaws, but then actually pulled back. That was really interesting. So it really is, you know, keep your distance, but you know, not going to do any damage to the cub. She's gonna try. She's obviously not got the message. You're looking for trouble there, little one. You can see her raising that tail. She is very excited, and that's very typical hyena behaviour. And yet hyenas can cooperate to hunt as a group. They really are just so interesting, and I think there is so much more to learn about hyenas. And like I say, they don't read the books. What we know about animals comes from quite a small, often quite a small area of one study, and that's why having many different studies in different areas to actually really learn the differences and the similarities of the animals in different areas is really important. Yeah, it is, hey, Kobe. It's very interesting to see this this sort of behaviour, and that's for me, is what is which makes it so special, is actually watching the behaviour. And as I say, spending a bit of time with the animals. Sometimes you don't get anything. Sometimes they will just sleep, but sometimes you just get interactions that you're just not expecting to see. And that's what it's all about. It's just spending that time, being patient, and trying to really understand more about them. That's what I find so magical, and I'm just so chuffed that we can actually share this with you live during our broadcast from the Sabi Sands, but also now from the Mara. That is just so exciting seeing 
some of the interactions that are coming out from there is just absolutely amazing and the beauty of it is it's not edited so we're not trying to make a story and put clips to that story this is nature unfolding right before your eyes and that is what makes it so special You can see she has calmed down quite a bit now. The stations, just to let you know, and Busy Kaya is active. Good morning, go ahead. <laughs> Yeah, you're welcome to. Uh, it's just on Gallagher shortcut. <laughs> I'm starting to feel the, the heat from the sun. See, there's still some steam coming off of Gwen there. Hi, Shansom. Asking if hyenas will swim or mud wallow to cool down, and yes, they will. Oh, it's the best thing to see hyenas using the small, small puddles <laughs> during the summer. There's one hyena to one puddle. It's so funny. Yeah, she does, doesn't she, Sally? Sally in Oregon, saying Gwen seems to be recouping quickly. And she is. She's, she's definitely not panting as heavily as she was or salivating. But I think she definitely exerted herself, though. If you think about uh, your dog, if you've ever seen them really exert themselves and they just come back lathered and just, yeah, <laughs> steaming as she was. <laughs> And obviously panting very heavily. But she is slowly calming down. <laughs> Those cups decide to have another go at that bit of skin. That's something about hyenas. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, how adorable. Oh, look. <laughs> Definitely getting braver. Hi, Em. Asking how many cubs do hyenas normally have? It's usually around two. I have heard sometimes three. But unfortunately, competition is very high, even at a very young age. And hyena cubs have been known to kill. The the, dom the dominant cub kills the, sub the, sub uh, the subordinate cub. Madison wanting to know what the chance of these cubs are for surviving. And unfortunately, with them being this small, they are vulnerable. So even though they're using the hole, as you can see, that Gwen's actually resting in, they'll have a little chamber at the back there that they would have dug out so it allows them in there, nothing else. But snakes could get into that hole, wild dogs, leopards, lions, jackal, civets, genets, you know, anything bigger than they are could potentially kill them. 
So that's why they stay in the hole out of sight when mum's not there. And even if she's, you know, sort of f quite f far from the hole but still in the same vicinity as the den, they're not likely to come out to her, not at this age. But as they get older, they're going to become bolder. And I'll say those, that little one that's starting to climb up on top of the bank there. So they are coming out more regularly now. But if you notice the hyena, they have a sloping back and that allows to have a very large chest area. So they've got very large lungs, very large heart. And that actually gives them the stamina for walking many kilometers like we've, we've seen their tracks all over this morning granted they, they're not going to be all belonging to Gwen here but the distance that she's gone to get that piece of meat I'm pretty sure looking at it now is part of the skin of the buffalo so she's gone a few kilometers to go and fetch that and bring it back and that'll just be a short ship trip to them But those animals that you do see with the sloping back, that gives you a good indication that they've got some good stamina there. Like the wildebeest and the hartebeest, the topi. Let's say it just allows them to have very large lungs and very large heart. The lungs obviously to provide oxygen for the muscles and the heart to pump and to have a large heart, which is important to be able to pump that blood and just keep those muscles oxygenated so that they can keep going, basically. Hi, Riti. Riti asking if a hyena catches prey, would, would it lose it or would it fight it if a lion came along and again it's a whole num it's numbers game so if it's just a single hyena um, then the chances are it will probably put up a fight because you know they, they are uh, quite aggressive creatures but if it's a male lion against a hyena the male lion is probably going to win and unfortunately I think this is where we've we've given hyenas a bit of a bad press in years gone by so I think a lot, some of the documentaries, certainly when I was growing up, uh, it was hyenas were very much bad animals and they were stealing from lions. But what was being missed was sometimes that it was actually the hyenas that had made the kill and the lions had stolen the kill and the hyenas were trying to get it back. So lions scavenge just as much from hyena. <laughs> That's what I think hyena do from lion. As I say, it's very much a numbers game. You can see the cub darting off there. There's another vehicle just pulling in. Hopefully once it's pulled in, it should come back out again. So while we wait for the cubs to make a reappearance, I think we can check out what the Ellies are doing with Tristan. <laughs> 